Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you about something that's really, really important for any creative work you do on the computer, and that is backups and versioning. The really, really important part about this is just so you don't lose anything. Um, you don't want to get, you know, put 30 hours of work on something and just have it go away because in the realm of the digital world, if it's gone, it's gone, gone. There's no, you know, recovering just a little bit of it or anything like that. If it's deleted and you don't have any backups, you have to start completely and totally over. So there's a couple ways to do that, um, to get that version control within Adobe Premiere. The first one we're going to talk about is just actually on Windows. Um, you can do the exact same thing on a Mac. And that is just every time you start up on the project, you know, um, after a long day, so like let's say you put like four hours into it, and then the next day you start fresh, you want to just quickly copy and paste this, duplicate this. Um, so control, control C, V, that's a good way to do it. Um, copy, paste it, and then just rename it to instead of versions, copy, because that's how Windows likes to do it now. Just versions 2, 1, whatever. And then just have a running log of these. What's really great about this technique is you could take these older ones and throw them in a different file or a different hard drive. And if this hard drive crashes, you at least have an older version of it. What's also really neat about this is that they are just, like I'm saying, versions. So you can go back in time, and if you like, at the end of the day today, you're like, man, I really messed everything up. It just, it was not flowing as good as it did at the very beginning of the day. You can just go back and start over from the beginning of the day where it was yesterday. And you can actually see a really good history. So if you have an idea in one of the past ones that you accidentally removed or you argued against, you can come back and then grab it. So then, this is a great a great you know habit to get into is just copy and paste your work if it's important. Um, duplicate it and then store the others somewhere else. And as long as you have the original footage, it's really easy to relink that stuff later so that you can just grab it off the hard drive, start over, do a couple relinks, and then your product is exactly where it was. So then let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro right here. So now once we're actually in Premiere Pro, you can see that I have you know some footage right here. And the next thing that we can do with versioning um, is that we can do two things here. The first thing to do kind of goes with saving the file as well. And that's just going into edit, down to preferences, and then into autosave. And you want to turn autosave on. This is supposed to be a last resort effort. It kind of works. Um, I've had I've been saved a couple times by autosave. It does work. You probably want to set it lower than 15 minutes because we're in the, you know, the digital age of so much information and each file is probably, you know, a megabyte to 20 megabytes maximum. So to save 20 of these, you know, that's what, 400 megabytes, half a gigabyte. Um, you want to just be saving five minutes every two or three minutes. If you have a slower computer, it can actually take, or a really large product, this can take a while. So you might want to bump up the minutes so you don't get out of the flow. But if it's a small project and you have a really fast computer, these things will save just like that, and it'll keep a running log of 20 of these in the background. So if you lose something, you can just go to the auto saves. So yeah, turn that on. Really great. You can also turn it on to the Creative Cloud so it saves into the cloud even better. So yeah, make sure auto save is on. And then the next thing we can do is we can actually kind of version control our sequence. So this is all of our footage right here. And if we made like a new bin and called this sequences, and then we grab this one, you can see because it's the, the symbol in the bottom right that it's a sequence, drag that into here. So now that we're in sequences, what you can do is if you're, you're going through this and you have an idea, you know, something that you're a really, really creative idea that you, you feel like you can do, but you don't want it to be destroyed. You know, like you don't want to destroy your work before it might go in a completely different direction. You figure out that's not actually what you wanted to do. And you don't want to have to rely on control, you know, um, control Z, you know, backing up in time or even having to go to a different version because maybe you changed some other stuff beforehand. So what you can do is actually just exactly the same thing is just right click, duplicate. And so now you have the copy of it. So this was the original. I mean, you can, uh, you know, always rename stuff uh, to get that going, original. And then this is the branch, you know, you maybe you could rename this like branch one or something like that. And you can go down that path. And if you don't like it, just come on back to the original, come on back to branch one, maybe that's where you stopped and you really liked it and keep going. And every time you, you, you know, you go down a different path, you can just duplicate it. And so now we can, you know, do some destructive editing. I wanted this here and I wanted that like that. And I wanted this here and yep, yep that's exactly how I wanted it, right? Like that. Anyway, now that I have this, you're like, oh man, I didn't actually really like that. Double click on this, it's all good to go. 
nothing changes. It's all just really small amounts of data. Um, so you can you know make as many of these as you want, branch off, explore, and then always be able to come back to it. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial on how to back up and sort of version control your stuff. If you got any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. And subscribe to see more Adobe related content. I love, you know, talking about this stuff. And if you got like I said, if you got any questions or you want a tutorial made on something, throw it in the comments below and I will try to get to it. Thanks everyone, and until next time, see ya.